guys, what's going on? Ashman Tunes, again, another process episode. We're going to talk about backgrounds, backgrounds and scenes, background sceneries type of thing. One way that I've discovered how to save time is taking real images and turn them into almost animated backgrounds, just using a filter on Photoshop, for example. So you can save so much time with that because there's nothing worse than once you've done the things at the forefront, like the characters, um, I don't know, uh, couches or anything that's interactable for the character in that particular scene and cartoon, there's nothing worse than having to do the whole background as well. It's just very time consuming. So there's just ways around that. So check this out. What I do is I take something from Google and then cartoonize it, make it into a cartoon background. And what's cool about that is that the characters really pop over the background when you do it this way so what i do is i'll find an image example and just cartoonize it so okay i've got my folder open here as you can see in my bloody busy picture folder so i, I don't know let's take this bed for example so i'll get to that in a second so okay here's a bed right so we want a character in the forefront of this we can just put a character in the forefront but it just won't look the same you know so we want to cartoonize this. So what do we do? So we don't want this to be a background layer because you can't do anything with it. Double click on that, make it into a normal layer. Um, and what I use is if I go to filter up here, I use Topaz Labs Clean 3. Absolutely sick filter that makes it into a cartoon background using just this simple method. So if I click on here, it will take me into this thing here and there's three options here that make a really good cartoon style and it's cartoon detailed, cartoon detailed sharp and cartoon. Cartoon is what we want to go for because it's got that kind of smoother type feel to it. So we click on that. Bam, made into a cartoon, which is really cool. You know, once you put the characters on there, it pops and it kind of looks like a cartoon. It's kind of looks like it's been drawn. And that's taken from a real image for goodness sake. So imagine the amount of time you can save with all the scenes that you want to do. Um, you know, let's say, okay, it's, it's not cartoon enough for me. I want it a little bit more sketchy. You know, you can take it a little bit further and go into the filter part here, open up filter gallery, and I use this cutout here. I want to make it a little bit sketchy. So I don't know, if you want to make change the levels, make it less, the levels less, you can make it into more of a blotchy feel, but that's really not what you want to go for. Um, okay, so let's say we're okay with that. Press okay. Then damn it, you got yourself a cartoon background. Quick, easy. Do you know what I mean? You know, there's just so many ways you can do things, man. I'm just so glad I discovered things. Like, scour the internet, go on YouTube, and just look for methods. There's so many ways to skin a cat. So, okay, that's the cartoonization method that I use. So let me close that. Okay, so what we've got here is Terminal 2, the Queen's Terminal at Heathrow Airport. So, with backgrounds, sometimes they've got elements in the picture that you don't want. So say, for example, I just wanted to say, you know, for the sake of this example, I wanted to say the Queen's Terminal. I don't want Terminal 2 in there. I just don't like it, right? Okay, so we've got the cartoonized image here. So, okay, so we zoom in, pan across here. Actually, it's too far in. We'll come up, right? And then we take the magic wand tool. Yeah. Zoom in. Okay. So we're holding shift here so we can select more than one element. Click on here, then click on here, click on here. You get the idea, you don't need the commentary. <laughs> oh, no, undo. Quick shift, shift again. Click on number two. Do we leave that line in or we take it out? Take it out. Nope. Okay, so zoom out. So that's what's selected right here, yeah. Um, one thing that I do usually is because if you zoom in, right, you can see that the crawling ants do not cover the outer bit here. So that's still visible. So what we need to do is we then go to select, go to modify, and then go to expand. Let's say by, actually, let's say by two pixels actually. That's just expand enough of, yeah, that should cover all the ground. That covers everything. So you can see everything in there is covered, right? Okay, so what we want to do is then hold Control J, 
and shift, click that. You make the top layer invisible. So as you can see, there's now, oh, okay, I've been tricked. I've been tricked. So that's what that's left behind. That little line there is left behind. Trying to mess me up in front of people, huh? Get rid of that, okay? So as you can see, that area there is now vacant and ready to be filled, okay? So make that visible again. So this is exactly what's gonna disappear, right? Don't worry about that line, that doesn't matter. Um, okay, so you hold control and left click on this, right? And then you select the bottom layer. And then you go to edit, then go to fill. And then in the contents, make sure it's selected content aware. There's other things here that you can fill in, but we want content aware because we want the program to basically recognize the background, the color scheme, and then basically mimic what it would look like if it wasn't there. Okay, so um, we click OK. Yep, let me undo, oh, get rid of them, and then make this invisible. Okay, so as you can see, these lines here come up, right? Because we haven't made it properly surround the whole thing that needs to be filled in. So that's usually a mistake that some people make. I was doing that on purpose to show you the sake of this idea. So, okay, so we go back, right? Actually, yeah, control click on that again. Um, what would be better is if we then expand again. So go to select, modify, expand by one pixel. Actually, you know what? I don't even trust this. Let me do another pixel. He's got to mash me up again. All right, one pixel more. Okay, that should be fine. And then again, repeat, this, repeat the same process. Click down to the bottom layer. Then we go to edit, fill, Make sure content aware is on. Double click. We should be in business. Deselect the ants make them go away. Make that invisible. Bam, there you go. So obviously we're filling that line, that's simple. Um, we just take a tool here, select this area, drag this across. Bam, son. Deselect, there you go. No more terminal two. That's basically how I do my stuff, man. So you can, manipulate it and edit it the way you want it to look. Cartoonize it, take out elements that were in the real image and make them make it unrecognizable essentially. Obviously you can tell what that is, but you get the kind of concept that I'm going for. So there's just so many ways, there's so many different shortcuts you can take in the production process to make things quicker and easier for you and your team. And that's one of the ways that I do it to prepare my animators for work and you know to cut corners essentially when it comes to the back end and production and stuff. So that's one of the methods. There you go, bish bash bosh. Bam!